welcome to my youtube channel powerpoint university creative powerpoint presentation templates designed to help you present your best download the templates for free and make wow factor in your presentations you can get all the tutorials from basic to intermediate to advanced level please like share and subscribe my channel powerpoint university to get more stunning powerpoint tutorials every week in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a professional cv in powerpoint this is the cover slide with the name and the next slide is the actual cv where you can see the name on the top and the education skills and interests on the left side on the right about me experiences and reference so let's see how we can create this slide in powerpoint go to design slide size custom slide size and select the size a4 and make it portrait and say ok go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes and select a rectangle draw a rectangle You can make the height as 9.6 inches and width is maybe 5.6 but 5.6 is very small it should be maybe 6.5 we can make it now this is perfect then align center and align middle shape outline make it a black color and shape fill make it no fill And the width of this you can increase to two and a half points. Shift fill make it no fill. Go to insert shapes and select a line. Draw the line while holding the shift key so that it will become the straight line. And give the same width and make it a black color. You can press Ctrl D and duplicate it. And bring it down add one more rectangle at the center make it align center and middle and this make it no outline and the shape will make it black Now I'm going to cut the this particular shape using a oval shape. Make the oval shape and bring it align center and bring it something like this. Select the rectangle and the oval shape under merge shape say subtract. So that particular shape got uh, subtracted and this you can reduce the size and bring it here make it black and no outline and on this you can add a photo you can add your own photo here and go to insert text item and enter your name I'm going to use a font called Helvetica. This is very important. You have to choose a very right font for your CV. Make it center align and increase the font size. Add one more text box. This is for the job title. Sorry, the job title. And enter your job title there. 
and this also you make it center align and the font as white and place it below the name and at the bottom you can use your social media profiles like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn or maybe something else like Instagram or whatever and I'm going to add one more text box or shape fill a rectangle this is I'm just going to type a resume here make it white fill shape outline no outline and change the color to black the font color and place it at the center of the top line And for the icons, I'm using a app called Pitch On. You can see you get all the icons there. So I'm just going to add it to my presentations. Likewise, I have used for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So we have the cover page is ready now. I'm going to copy the name and this particular of shape. Select this shape, go to format, edit and make it a rectangle. So this is a new slide which I have added and take it to the top. Bring the name on the top and you can add one more line there. and make the line as a white line and add one more shape a rectangle shape there and add the position make it white fill, black fill and make it no outline and the font to be white and type the position make sure that this is uh, there are no borders to it and you can add your social media accounts also uh, below there then I'm going to make this section into two add a new line there the left section will be the smaller one and right section will be the bigger one add a line like this and make it a gray color line I'm going to type a text using a text box make it center align a font I'm going to use Helvetica reduce the size make it a black font and this is all about your education and add one more line make sure that it is aligned properly with the main header and you can make it two and a half points and a black color line so once you put your education here start putting your the university or college what degrees you have earned And always use one font only don't uh, in the CV there should not be uh, two or three different fonts it should be one font only 
you can make use of uh, italic or bold so this is the degree which you can enter it here and then you have to enter the year and the university name and if you have got uh, two or three different uh, levels of education you can enter it here here I'm just going to add one more press ctrl D to duplicate it and say this is the uh, diploma and then this is the second section the second section is all about the skills so I'm just going to use the same font here for example which skills you are good at for example I'm just saying Adobe After Effects or Maya or Photoshop or whatever and insert a line here it should not be thick it should be thin line and I'm going to insert a oval shape oval shape you have to make it to a smaller size maybe 0.1 inches both height and width and make it no outline and a color as a black zoom in and put the how much or what your expertise in this one select both of these objects and you can group it likewise you can put all your skills here press ctrl d if you got uh, different skills whatever skills four five six you can just uh, add it here Now here at the end I'm just going to uh, type about or insert about the hobbies or interest.
you can type your own interest like uh, reading gaming or whatever so enter all the details here and then you can adjust the the bar there say surfing you are not that good so i'm just making it to the left side so that means your average in that one and then on the right side i'm going to talk about the about me and my experiences so this is i'm just going to make it align properly and change this to about me and you can provide some of the details here not more than three to four lines and then i'm going to talk about my experiences the job experience and give the title of the position you hold before and from which year to which year i'm saying here i am a, a art director and you can type from which year to which year you worked and for which company so if you've got three four different experiences you list them all here and you have to give a brief of your the experience which you have mentioned there so this is about the the first experience then you can have two or three and at the below you can add the references the references you can give uh, any of your colleague or your manager number and their name so this is the cv which looks more professional and it's very easy to use in powerpoint you can edit as you like if you want to change the color it's up to you so i have created two slides the first slide is the cover slide and the second slide is the actual cv and you have to spend a, con a good amount of time in getting the right alignment that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye